Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of the Simply Complex YouTube channel. Today I thought it'd be really fun to show you how to import geometry into Google Earth. Here's Google Earth right here. This program is completely free and I'm using the, dex, uh, the desktop application. Of course there is a mobile application as well. So go ahead and get onto the Google, just go ahead and Google it. <laughs> Google Google Earth and then it's going to uh, give you to the site where you can actually download it if you don't already have it already. Let's go ahead and make up a scenario where we're going to place a building into the site. And let's go ahead and say we're going to look at something in Los Angeles. And that, that's, uh, I live near Los Angeles so I want to use that as an example. Google Earth is a very easy program to navigate in. What's really nice about this is you can actually go ahead and bring in some geometry uh, that you built in another program uh, inside of Google Earth. It's a lot of fun. So let's go ahead and look at Dodger Stadium. I already know where Dodger Stadium is. This is downtown Los Angeles. Right here is Dodger Stadium. Most of the Google Earth data is 3D, which is really, really nice, and especially uh, mostly, I don't think this is the entire planet, but um, most major cities have 3D data. Let's go ahead and say we wanted to put a new building right here just for, just for fun. How would we actually do that? Well, we'd use a program called SketchUp. And if you don't have SketchUp, uh, you're able to get a 30-day trial. I'll open my SketchUp application. And uh, I'll go ahead and show you how it works. So here's SketchUp right here. And let's go ahead and build a simple box. Now before we do that, we do want to geolocate our we do want to geolocate our building. So what you do is in order to give you a reference, it says geolocation, you can add a location. It'll bring up this dialog box. And when you're done with that, you can type in an address. So let's go ahead and go back to Los Angeles. And that should be enough to get us there. Okay, we're out there. Uh, you could type in Dodger Stadium, although I, I already know where it's at. We're about right there. You have to expand this box because then you're going to get this thing called Select Region. And now we are actually inside of, of uh, SketchUp. So you want to say Select Region. You can manipulate these to move them around just to get the spot you're interested in. We may have to get this box a little bigger. So that's about where we want it. If you remember, we wanted to put that building right about here where my cursor is. So we go ahead and say grab. And once you do that, it's going to go ahead and geolocate your building and then place the background image onto SketchUp. Now notice that it is a 2D, it is a 2D image inside of SketchUp. But it is something, at least something we can we can work with. Alright, so what we're gonna do then is we're just gonna build a simple box and put it Put it about here, so let's see how we're going to do that. Let's go ahead and draw a rectangle, like so, like that, you know. That would represent our building. And uh, this is just geometry inside of SketchUp. Uh, you may build it some other way, but SketchUp is the avenue, uh, at least using the user interface, to get geometry from SketchUp to Google Earth. It's really one of the only methods at the moment. So we're going to go ahead and we can save that. I'm going to go ahead and export this. It says export. It says export 3D model. And then I can go ahead and place that somewhere here. Uh, and it comes out as a KMZ file. So I'm just going to go ahead and say um, maybe LA building or something like that. Okay, and we're just going to say export. It's really that simple. And then all you do in Google Earth is head on over to Google Earth. Let's say we were out somewhere a little further. And then you can go ahead and just open up that particular file that we just saved out of SketchUp. We would have to navigate to that particular location. And then it is called KMZ. You can double click and then it will actually send you right to where we built it. Which is really nice. And you can see it's right there. And since it's Google Earth you get full access to viewing it in 3D. How nice is that? Google Earth now has an, now has a feature as well. Uh, if you get in close enough, it'll actually drop you down to the Street View, and it's not called Street View. It's I believe it's called 3D View. If I can get it, let's see here. Can I get it? Will it let me do it? I think we got to double click. 
and there we go and once you know you says exit ground view and then you have the ability to move around right isn't that neat okay and, and you could view your building or you can exit ground view by clicking that button head back out and you'd see whoops we jumped back in like that and we can see the building again inside of google earth that's it thanks for listening